Hey guys, Sam from Memphis Makes and Moose Mike. So welcome back to all our returners and hi to any newbies. It's so great to have you here. Please do stick around a while and if you like what you see, give us a thummy. They are free. Now disclaimer, there is no yarn or crochet content apart from what you see behind us. This is all the yarn goodness you will find in this video because <laughs> we were not officially tagged but I watched a tag video this week and at the end she said I openly tag anyone who wants to do it and for the purposes of being honest and open with you all like we always are here at Mountfus Makes I did not have a clue what content to bring you for today and I, at the last minute, and I mean very last minute, remembered this tag video and thought, what the heck, let's <laughs> do this because it's something to bring you. And we feel like it's going to be a lot of fun and we hope you find it fun too. The tag came from the beautiful Tracy over at Crochet Rocks. Um, I don't know. I can't remember. Sorry, Tracy. I can't remember whether it was on Crochet Rocks or rock steady because she has a couple of channels but she listed 20 of her favorite songs and it doesn't have to be your all-time top 20 in num like 20 counting down to one it's just 20 songs that mean something to you or is just in mike's case music is life he could not get through life without music. Now, I love music, but I am not a big music fan like Mike is. I have not seen Mike's list. Mike has seen a little bit of mine because we were sat next to each other. And he writ his list, boom, 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 boom. And I'm sat there going, oh, Google, Google, help me. Disclaimer, my <sighs> list has meaning throughout my life. Yeah. But... There are so many more that I could have put on there. It's unreal. Music is one of those things, guys, that so many genres, so many decades, mm -hmm. so many meanings behind certain songs, whether it's a certain point in your life, a pivotal moment in your life and a song helped you through it, memories from your childhood, when you were young and clubbing, whatever, there are bazillions of songs out there and bazillions of amazing artists that you would never ever ever in my opinion be able to do your top 20 from 20 down to number one no, because i don't have a top 20 you would maybe. have to do that for so many different categories and nobody's got time for that so we have just what mike and i did is we broke it down into four different categories five songs for each category Please remember as you're listening to our choices that there could be thousands more. In but we had to make a list for this video. I had so to do quite a few special mentions. There are some special <laughs> mentions at the end. And I was a little bit of a cop out and did a specific band or artist and then picked my favourite from them. But I love that band or artist and could listen to all the stuff they did basically. Um, so the four categories that Mike and I broke it down to, and remember there could be millions of categories, we just had to come up with something quick, because I'm not going to lie to you guys, it's quarter past ten at night, and you need this video for eight o'clock in the morning. So we are now on a time crunch, this is a very pressured, we need to get 20 songs on a list. So this is not our ultimate songs ever, this is just 20 that popped into our head while we were quickly scribbling it down to do a video there could have been thousands of other different choices. So the four, and thank you, Tracy, for the open tag, because if you hadn't left it open to everyone, we wouldn't be able to do it. So thank you for the wonderful idea. We really, really appreciate it. And you saved my bacon lovely with a bit of content. So cheers for that. So we went for five childhood classics. We went for five clubbing classics. Bearing in mind, there is 16 months between us. I'm the oldest. And my clubbing was a little bit harder. He did hardcore clubbing. I was very mumsy with it even before I was a mum. <laughs> um, then five family classics. And what the family classics means is songs that our family were always playing in the background as we were growing up or at family parties, barbecues, that sort of thing. 
And then five mood songs. We picked five different moods and a song that we listen to when we are in those moods. But again, there could be thousands more. So we better get this started. You better go grab a drink. You better grab your project and you better be in for the long haul because I think. And also, it's going to be so hard for me because now we're monetized. I can't sing bits of the song or I can't even hum them. And it's going to be so tempting when I when I read them. I'm going to want to sing it for you. And I haven't got a beautiful voice. So be thankful that I'm monetized and I can't sing because your ears are saved. OK, so who's going to kick it off? I think because music is life for Mike, he should kick it off. Oh, and just another quick disclaimer. I'm in my scruffs. I have had a really, really rubbish day. And quite frankly, I want to be in my pyjamas. So the fact that I've even got scruffs on is is an upgrade from where I should be right now so apologies but this is real life and it's quarter past ten at night we need to be going to bed soon so are we doing singular or are we doing the whole childhood classic I think you we should take a section and go you me you me okay all right so we're going to do five childhood classics go so but mine's like a story so if I go far enough back my first choice going far enough back would be Will Smith Men in Black See, I want to sing it. Don't do it, Manfa. <laughs> Purely because it was so upbeat and gave me a bit of happiness in the sad little life that I had at the time. Side note, not going into details, Mike had a really bad childhood. So, just saying. And the first one I picked is Anything Spice Girls. And that's a cop-out, I know. And I had to pick a fave. And I, try, I struggled so bad because I love everything by the Spice Girls. Spice Girls was life for me back in the early 90s. I was born in 87. He was born in 88. So in the early 90s, Spice Girls were like, bang, here's a girl group, smack you in the face, look at us. And I wanted to be a Spice Girl. And I wanted a Spice Girl. <laughs> <laughs> and I always wanted to see them in concert and it never actually happened. <laughs> so I had to pick a fave and I went for Who Do You Think You Are? Fair play. There's right. lots of others. So now we're go sort of going into my rebellious teens. So my next one was NWA. And I'm not going to say the first word, but the ending says the police. We're going to swap the actual word for duck. Yeah. It's not duck. Use your imagination. Duck the police. Naughty. Naughty. And I was getting into a... Dark phase yes. of his life. My next one is anything Backstreet Boys, of course. I mean, 90s. <laughs> come on. So Backstreet Boys, love them all. Had to pick a fave. Really struggled with this one as well. But I, I put as long as you love me. Fair enough. Then we're getting into the even darker stage of my life, and I was—I've now picked Eminem cleaning out my closet, um, purely because I could relate to it at the time. We'll leave that there. My next is anything. Take that. I mean, I'm in the UK. Take that. We're a big, big <laughs> UK boy band. I never got to see the real Take That, but my mum did take me to see a. Um, what are they called? They're not the real tribute. deal. Tribute. Thank you. Tribute band. One of the best nights of my life. It wasn't the real Take That, but it felt almost, almost real. And my favourite Take That one was Mark Owen. And the one that was pretending to be Mark Owen in that tribute band, he actually took the time to come over, have a photo with me, give me a cuddle. And I felt like I was royalty i think i must have only been about what nine ten <laughs> and it was one of the best nights of my life but i didn't have too much trouble with this one because one of my top 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 favorite songs from take that is babe fair enough so my next one is a, a little bit softer um and it was probably before my time um a, well it came out when i was very young but i, I still listen to it now and it's two pack changes and I picked that one because at the time I could visualise emotion with it. Okay. 
It's weird. My Mike is going very deep into yeah, this. I'm, I'm just like teeny bopper, like yeah. cheesy pop. <laughs> I I find music. I was a typical typical cheesy girl. My my music choices are very emotional for me. Um, even yeah. now. Oh I, yeah. I find emotion in anything. So. Oh yeah. If me and him have a tiff, he goes off and plays angry music. Yeah, or sad music. Me or... and him have a bit of a hard time that we're going through that's making us sad. He's with his depressive music. I mean, whatever Mike listens to in the shower, you can tell what mood he's in. It just brings me back out of it, to be fair. Yeah. Um. So he also sees music as therapy a little bit as well. Yeah. Um. The next one is anything Britney Spears. I mean, the woman is just phenomenal. <laughs> Let's forget about the little crazy period that she had. Let's forget about all the negativity and the press and everything. Mm. When she first came onto the scene, again, it was like, wow. And I love everything Britney Spears. There's probably not a Britney Spears song that I don't know every word to. And that goes for all the ones I've already listed. Had to pick one. And... I started playing it on my phone and I was lip syncing along to it and Mike's like, well, that's got to go on your list because you're instantly like... (laughs) And it is stronger. Fair enough. So my next one is when I started listening to slightly clubby music, coming into it at an early age, to be fair. Run DMC and Jam Master J. Oh, yeah, I know that one. Amazing. It's probably like the only one apart from the Will Smith one that I recognise. <laughs> well, you know Eminem. Not really. No? Not really. But you know you know. M- all listen, them. I had parents that wouldn't allow me to listen <laughs> to anything with swearing in it. Well, my parents had no choice. Well, there you go. So I was squeaky clean and all innocent and naive and you are a proper bad boy. But anyway, <laughs> so the last one in the childhood classics for me, you did, yeah, you did yours is anything Westlife. Again, big UK, cheesy cheesy girl, had to pick a fave. And I struggled with this one, but it had mm. to be when you're looking like that. Mm. Fair play. Yeah. It was one of the more upbeat rather than the soppy ballad type. Mm-hmm. So there you go. Right, so now we're going into our clubbing years. Clubbing years. And can I just do another disclaimer? I started clubbing about 17, should have been 18, but I was about 17. And then I was engaged and pregnant at 19. So my clubbing days were very short lived. And when I decided to go out clubbing, rather than go hardcore, mm, 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 styly, I decided to go to the 80s bars. So I was actually listening to to the stuff that my parents listened to before I was even born, because I was born in 87. But I would much rather go to those bars than the proper nightclubs. So when you hear my clubbing classics, you're going to go, lame. But. Right, so we're going to start off on the softer side of clubbing. Toka Miracle. I know that one. Yeah, it was my teenage dance tracks that I used to listen to on MTV and VH1 and all that lot. Never had MTV. We didn't have cable telly. I had Sky, so it's all good. Never had Sky. I only had Sky as a grown-up and I got my own house. And I'm not going to lie. I'm making myself sound very... I'm not going to (laughs) lie. I had a great childhood. I used to watch, as a teenager, I used to watch all these videos... uh, The scantily clad ladies. Yeah, and there's one on my... um, one on my list that I did not very heavily featured yeah. a lot of scantily clad. I wasn't very fond of that one though. No, but you turn the music off and just watch the video, you'd be very happy with it, <laughs> is all I'm going to say. Anyway, again, I had a very, very stable, nurturing, loving childhood. Mike had the complete opposite. So our lists are going to be vastly different. So my first clubbing classic, and I do that because it's not really, is Flow Rider and Low. <laughs> I actually feel embarrassed saying these. Mike's like, oh, what? It's not clubbing. <laughs> it's really not. So we're still on the softer side as a teen, but ATB till I come. 
I know it sounds dodgy, but that's what it's called. And if you and look I, it up, and I know that song. Yeah. <laughs> if you if you look it up, it's uh, it's a dance track. It so. is a dance track. Yeah. Okay, so my next one are the memories. The memory. I only have to listen. I have, uh, sorry. Blah, 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 blah. I only have to hear the artist's name or the name of the song, and I'm instantly back with thousands of memories with this song. And it is Usher. Yeah. <laughs> right, so Great times. my next one is starting to push me into the hardcore club in age. Uh, Robert Mills, um, Children. And it was a trance classic that you would probably hear in IB4 or somewhere like that. Not a clue. Um, my neck, this is the one where if you turn the music off but watch the video, young boys were all over this music video. Yeah. Call on Me by Eric Prids. Mm. Yeah, fair enough. Pneumatic drills, ladies in bras, that's all I'm going to say. Fair enough. So now we're going into the harder side of my clubbing years and none of you will know who they are or no, someone, someone, you can't say that someone might someone i have might. a variety of you in people so fair enough tidy boys it's me Al. love only me and it is a hardcore rave which i must admit is probably very british i cannot do rave i cannot he will try he will listen to it when i'm not here and as soon as I get home, I walk in the door and I'm like, hi, turn that off. I cannot. So he only gets to listen to that hardcore rave when Mouth is not around because my brain just bleeds out of my ears. The I can't is, do it. The thing is, not everybody likes it. It's not everyone's cup of tea. I did all sorts when I was younger, so that was what it was like. But I can still now pick melodies and different parts of the song out and be like, oh, yeah, I like that. I'm lost. Um, <laughs> okay, the next one. This is so lame. It's not really a club classic. <laughs> but it's Umbrella by Rihanna. An umbrella. She's in stilettos in the rain. I mean... Fair enough. Fair enough. Just, just uh, so simple but brilliant. And my next one was a resident DJ from my club in years. Um, so he lived in the town that I lived in. No, or city. Local, DJ. local DJ. Never really hit the big time. No. But played, Tom Costello. Played, played the local scene. Tom Costello. I feel wonderful. And it was the most banging track I ever heard in my life. He says banging a lot behind the scenes. He's like, that's banging. And now Max, if I've cooked <laughs> him something really nice for his dinner, he goes, mum, that was banging. That was well banging. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> You've rubbed off on him. Yeah. <laughs> it was um, an absolute belter of a track, put it that way. Yeah, yeah. If you say so, I don't know it. None of you. Um, know. and the last one, it is a classic. I don't know if it is. Is it dance? Is it clubby? Is it probably the one of the most clubby yeah, ones I've dance, got on there? Yeah, that is the most clubby one you've got on. There. Okay, so it's Castles in the Sky by Ian Van Dow and Marsha. And it is a dance track. It, it is was... a dance track. But that's, and, that's as dancey as Mount forgets. And when you actually go into the clubs, it's much better than it is on the TV. Yes, yes. So. but that is as dancey as Mount forgets. Can't do no more than that. Mm -hmm. And I can only do it in small doses when I've had several alcoholic beverages and I have no sense anymore. Mm -hmm. Just say it. Next one. Yeah. Family classics. So these are the songs we picked, what was around us growing up, mm -hmm. or in my case, groups or artists or genres that remind me heavily i've just done my parents my mum and my dad because backstory my mum and dad worked two or three jobs each so i only actually really saw my mum and dad on a weekend but then my dad also got a night job that did weekends as well as working through the week so i actually saw my dad a lot less when he got that night job um so it was big when I was growing up that we would listen to music at family barbecues and family parties and it's those that I remember the most because for the most part my parents worked two or three jobs each and it was my nan that took me to school, picked me up from school, gave me my tea at uh, my dinner 
Um, and it was only really a Saturday that I saw both my parents. And on a Sunday, it was just my mum because my dad worked the Saturday night and was in bed sleep all day. So mm. I just picked my parents for yep. family classics. So mine is a little bit of a mixture. So mm. I'll just kick off with it. So meatloaf, I will do anything for love. But and I won't only, do that. And, I, and the only reason I picked that one, and it wasn't because at the time I'd do anything for love because I was so young. Mm. Um, but because at the time, music for me was, I really wanted powerful singing and power. See, but for me, Meatloaf, it's got to be Battle of Hell. Yeah, see, I was thinking that, but I used to sing this one a lot, over okay. and over again. So. And did anyone ever find out that Meatloaf would do anything for love, but he wouldn't do that? Did we find out what that was? No. One of life's unanswered questions. Yep. Yeah shame but it was one of his power ballads so. it was yes and actually i can get on board with that one mm. i know that one and i belt it out whenever it comes on the radio yeah. so okay the first one for me again i'm copping out guys i put anything celine dion now both my mum and dad were massive celine dion fans and still are actually and that has carried over for me throughout my childhood teens early adult and i've got an a and we've got our own playlists on there and there are several Celine Dion tracks on there because it just brings back memories of being a child at home or like I said family barbecues get togethers but the one the one that will always get me from Celine Dion is Think Twice there is a specific memory where we're having a family barbecue it started raining we moved the barbecue into the garage so mum reversed the car out, put the barbecue in. Silly idea, because where's all the smoke? We basically smoked ourselves out, but, you know, she panicked. Put the barbecue in the garage, decided it wasn't going to work, gave up on the food and cooked it in the oven instead. But we had a little disco in the garage for whoever was around. And Think Twice came on, and we were all belting it out. And then a few days later, my mum didn't think I knew the words properly. A few days later, I was in the garage getting something out of the freezer and I was just belting out Think Twice. And she came up behind me and I spun around and there's a point in the song that goes, no, 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 no. And as I spun round and I shouted that, she shouted it back at me and it was just like, ah, one of those like, I'll never forget that memory. It sounds really lame to you guys, I'm sure, but that day will forever be imprinted in my brain. So, Celine Dion, Think Twice. So, the next band that I picked, I picked the song from it because it's my favourite, but it reminds me of my uncle because it was his favourite band and, and I used to listen to it all the time with him. It's this guy. Yes, right. and he is my the only family member that I look up to as a hero. Oh, um, I've only ever met him the once. Purely because when I was younger, he was the one bringing me up in a sense. He was my babysitter for the majority of my life. And the only positive the only male positive, role model. Oh, no, you the had. only positive role model I had at the time because my dad's one of them left when I was four, so I don't really know him. But the other one was always in the pub with my granddad, so. Uh, yeah, it was just. He was the positive male male role model who brought you up and yeah. tried to keep you on the straight and narrow. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying he was the only positive role, role model. But male in particular is mm. what I'm getting at. And he used to take me kung fu and all sorts. So. Okay. Um. What so is it? scar tissue by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. That's my favourite song from it. I don't know if I know it. I'll have you to do, check it out. You do because I've played it to you before. Oh well, I don't remember it. I'll have to play it after this. Okay. The next is anything Shania Twain. My mum is a massive Shania Twain fan. Now, I deliberately picked, it says my favourite, and I've I've got to be honest here. There is one song from Shania Twain that my mum and dad say is their song. When I married the boy's dad, I had that song as my first dance with him. So that song is now still beautiful and a favourite for my mum and dad and my sentiment to my mum and dad but because it was my first dance to my husband who I'm now no longer with and that all went wrong I 
can't really bring myself to listen to it because it's it's now got negative um, connotations with it. So I chucked that one off the list and I put, don't be stupid instead. <laughs> we'll go with that one. But okay. like I said, she's a belter and I love all of her songs. So my next choice is to do my uncle again. It's another one of his favourite bands, but this is my favourite song from them. Um, Guns N' Roses, November Rain. Of course you do. I don't think I do. Axel Rose, Guns N' Roses. Yeah, I think I only know like one Guns N' Roses Which song. Which is? I don't know. Welcome to the Jungle. Oh no, I know Sweet that Sweet Child of Mine. Sweet Child of Mine. November Rain is a very popular one as well. Yeah, but I don't think I know it. Anyway, let's let's do this after <laughs> we've done our um, filming. So, now I'm going into like my dad and memories of my dad. He is a massive Motown fan. My dad was born in the 50s, later 50s. So he went all through the 60s, all through the 70s when Motown was pretty big. And there again are thousands of Motown songs that make me think of my dad. But I typed into Google classic Motown songs and I scrolled through. And as soon as this one popped up on the list, I'm like, yes, makes me think of my dad every time. Um, because he used to sing it to my mum. <laughs> and if you take the romanticalness out of the song, he used to kind of sing it when mum had me on her hip. The three of us used to sing and dance to it. And he would sing My Girls. I'm sure you understand the sentiment behind it, but it's My Girl by The Temptations. If you don't know it, look it up. It's lovely. Cool. So my next one, again, is reminding me of family, but it reminds me of my mum. Um, she is a massive fan of him back in the day. And it's Bon Jovi. By, and, his, and it's Starman. Because, again, that's my favourite one. Wouldn't have made my list, but that's why we're doing our own lists. Um, okay, I'm still with me dad in my family classics and it's anything from the drifters my dad is a massive drifters fan we went on holiday and i can't remember where we went on holiday to but it was abroad and they had a drifters tribute act my dad had the best night of his life it wasn't even the real drifters <laughs> but you would think it was the real drifters and that my dad had died and gone to heaven he was in his element and then um a few years back probably getting on for a decade now there was going to be a Motown collaboration thing lots of different Motown acts in a show and I bought tickets and I took my dad to the Motown night and me and my dad had the best night ever and we haven't done it since and I need to do that again actually but going back to the Drifters there was three and I was struggling to pick from the three now, the three was Under the Boardwalk, Saturday Night at the Movies, but the one that made it onto the list is Kissing in the Back Row of the Movies. But anything Drifters, and I think of my dad. So my last one, again, is to do with my mum. Um, and his uncle is his hero, my daddy's mine, mm. just saying. So, like, this is back before she had new bands that are her favourites now, but Bob Marley. And my favourite song from that was Redemption Song. It's a very mellow, almost sad song, but he makes it sound happy. Do I know that one? Probably not. It was on his Wailers track. Bob Marley and the Wailers. I don't know. Okay. And then we're still with my dad. Can I just say, my daddy is my hero, but so is my mum, but for very different reasons. Um... Anything Diana Ross. He was a huge Diana Ross fan. Still is. You get in his... I had to borrow his car, right? Because my car was in the garage. And I was flipping through his CDs. Motown CD. Drifters CD. Diana Ross CD. And then there was a couple of new ones. Like, I bought him the George Ezra. He's a big George Ezra fan from somebody new. Were. Um, and then some random mixed... Something like now... Whatever, but back in the day. 
So yeah, still listens to Diana Ross. And actually this song, when I clicked that CD option when I was borrowing his car, because mine was in the garage, was this one. And it's Chain Reaction. And I literally just whacked it right up and was belting it out as I was driving home because my dad's car is a heap of junk. I love my dad, <laughs> but I really don't. And you've driven dad's yeah, car. Yeah, dad's yeah. car is not the one. It's but that drive home, Beedle. it does. And I was dreading the drive home because I hate driving my dad's car because it's so slow and rubbish. But Diana Ross came on with Chain Reaction and it made everything all right again. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> and right. that was literally two weeks ago. I think we're on mood songs now. We are. We're on our last segment. So I broke it down into five categories and I believe you did the same categories yeah. out of this one. So We just, one category yeah. we worded slightly different. So disclaimer, for each mood there is so many songs and I mean so many, especially for me because I actually find emotion in my music. Um, so anger, I had to pick one out of Millions. so many and I mean Millions. I could rattle them off. Corn, System of the Down, Limp Biscuit. Um... Eminem. I actually picked an Eminem song, so yeah. Oh, there uh, you go. <laughs> there's so many, so many, it's unreal. But I had to he pick one. He was a one. very angry man. And kid. Mm. So I had to pick one, and I picked Eminem because you can't get any more angrier than Eminem, to be fair, in the time that he did these songs. And it was criminal. And it was purely because of the, so the beat behind it, not the actual lyrics. Just the... I don't know a sheer, lot. Of, I don't know a lot of Eminem because there wasn't allowed songs for swearing in. The sheer anger in the music, or not the not the lyrics, just in the music and the beat. Okay, so sure. my my angry song, <clears throat> excuse me, frog in my throat. I am allowed to say it because it's a name for an animal. So YouTube, if you're listening, I'm not saying this as a cuss. I'm saying it as the name of a song, and it is also. A female dog <laughs> so you cannot strike me okay so my angry song is meredith brooks and bitch <laughs> and trust me when i'm angry i put all my passion behind that song <laughs> don't i yeah yeah if he hears me if he comes home from work and i'm belting out that song he goes <laughs> i just turn around <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's like, what's going on now? So obviously you heard my disclaimer about all the emotions and how many I could pick, but I had to pick one, and I don't think this is even the saddest song that I could have picked. But this one's sad, obviously. Coldplay, when you try your best, and it is. I think I know that one. When you try. Snow monetized, <laughs> and yes, I do know it just by that little bit, but no. Um, any other, anything else you want to say about that song or are you done? No, that's it. Yeah, it's just okay. a sad song. Now you guys are going to think me very weird with my sad choice. Again, millions of options, millions of reasons why any human being can be sad at any given time. Now, I love the artist I'm about to say. Well, it's Ed Sheeran. Everyone loves Ed Sheeran. Who doesn't love Ed Sheeran? The lyrics on that one are super sad. And he brought this out not so long ago. It's one of his more recent ones, kind of. And there was a meaning behind it as well. And as soon as that song started playing, I hadn't even heard the lyrics. I was bawling my eyes out. And then when I listened to it again and I paid attention to the lyrics i bawled my eyes out even harder and since you're gonna think i'm weird and morbid and that i'm planning stuff i shouldn't even be thinking about this is a weird side to mantha just go with it don't fight it just go with it i have said to my mum that this is the song that i am gonna play at her funeral now my mum's not ill she's nowhere near shuffling off her mortal coil yet many 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 years to come yet because she's not allowed to leave me she's not allowed to <laughs> i will not even contemplate it anyway i have said because okay let's go into it my mum and dad are very practical pragmatic people 
they have already bought the cemetery plots that they're going to go in they have planned their funerals picked what flowers hymns or not hymns in my dad's case that they want they asked us if there was any kind of readings or songs we would want to do at the time so they could factor it in and the reason why they've done all that and this is their words you are not going to want to have to worry about organising all of this or paying for all of this when we have gone. So we're doing all that now. So you literally just have to go to wherever we've picked, give them the death certificate, they'll do the rest. It's all sorted. Don't have to do nothing. So when this song came out, I put it in as the request of what I want when that horrible heartbreaking day comes. And it is Ed Sheeran's, I can't even think about it without getting teary, listen to me. Ed Sheeran's Supermarket Flowers. And yeah, it's on my playlist on my Alexa. And yeah, when I listen to it, I'm bleeding my eyes out. <laughs> my mum means everything to me. So the next one is Happy. And I actually wanted to see the say this one myself. <laughs> That's why I said you could go first. <laughs> I'm not dumb. I figured it out. So, not long into the start of our relationship, I, and as you know, know that I find meaning in music a lot and mm -hmm. emotion. I was super happy. Like, super, super happy. And I picked a song for Sam and me. And... It was done by, well, so B.O.B. is what Sam's going to say, because that's the abbreviation, but it's Bobby Ray, Lovelier Than You. And this was the last song that I put on my list. I was struggling <laughs> to think of a song that makes me happy, and that is because recently there's been lots of trials and tribulations and not much to be happy about, mm. in fairness. And... When you're not feeling happy, it is hard to imagine that feeling when you're not in it. And this was the very last song that I put on the list. I was chopping between the segments as songs was coming into my head. And I looked at Mike and I said, what can I put down for happy? And he said, I don't know. What makes you happy? He had already been done. Oh, done and long dusted. Time long time. <laughs> he was waiting for me to hurry up so we could get this video done. And I didn't even look at his list, because in all honesty, I didn't think I'd recognise a lot on Mike's list. And I don't. I because trying. I'm so... Yeah, different in taste. Oh, my music goes across the whole board. Yeah. I listen to classic music. I am also. just literal cheese. I'm sorry. Anyway, <laughs> um, I didn't even look at his list. Didn't think I'd know a lot on there. I know a few, but the majority I don't. So I thought there's no point looking for inspiration on his list. So I'm sat here and I'm sat here and I'm like... Oh, I can't think of anything. And then I'm like, what's the one? And I started saying some of the lyrics in it. He started humming it. And I went, yeah, that one. And he went, really? And I went, yeah, why? He was like, because that is the exact song that I have put down for Happy. And it was not engineered. This is not us winding you up. No. Genuinely, he had done his list. I've... And he had even gone to the loo, made a cup of tea, I was that still was, faffing um, around. That was the second song I actually wrote down out of the whole list. And it was my very last. That makes me sound awful. <laughs> but genuinely, we, it was a fluke. It was a complete... Um, but it's true. Mm. That's the only... Mike is the only person that has ever given me a, a song... song. Because obviously I've been with other people, never ever ever had a song that kind of is ours. Mike was the first person to play it for me and say, this is what I think, this is a song that reminds me of you, this is how I feel about you, this is all about because you. Because that's one of my weird tendencies. <laughs> Cause I and I that. went, nobody's <laughs> ever picked a song for me or played a song for me or associated me with a song. So... Would I have ever heard it if Mike had ever played it? No. Wouldn't even know it existed. But because he did play it for me and because he did explain that it's 
about me in his eyes. Of course I melted. <laughs> he got me hooked line and sinker then, didn't he? Um, so it had to go on the list because it's one of the happiest pieces. It's, music makes you happy anyway. How am I trying to explain this? <laughs> Somebody giving me a song that reminded me, them of me, I couldn't be any happier because it's never happened before. Does that make sense? So, oh, it's just special and it's me happy song. Let's leave it at that because I'm doing really badly at explaining. <laughs> so the next bit was what music makes me feel hyper. Um, hyper energetic. Hyper energetic. And it is a live set from 2018 from a Australian DJ live in sydney called vinnie vici and his songs are so um they're like they're wild how do you say that so i don't know because i don't think i've heard this that you're talking about they're so like they would remind me of like the old tales of native americans and what's the word we'll just say they're wild they're wild they're upbeat no they're offense dance track. no offense please don't take offense mike no i mean historically ex- yeah but mike can't explain himself sometimes so don't take any offense by that historically so my energetic or hyper song is because i know the dance routine and when it comes on i can't help myself but do the dance routine and get very enthusiastic about it and it is steps five six seven eight that's all i've got to say about that <laughs> i can't help but do the dance routine and get Fair fully enough. involved in the moment Fair takes enough. me back to again pre-teen early teen family parties little school discos me and my mates in the school disco thinking we're all that knowing the routine what's not to love Fair enough. <laughs> so my next one would to category one. is sit making me silly um it's not really a silly song it's a more of a dancey love track but whenever it comes on i act silly i'll get the old dad dance out and i'll spout it out singing it and it's hadaway what is love guys <laughs> the dad dance he comes is out the epitome <laughs> of dad dance you've never seen anything old... like You've never seen <laughs> anything like it. If your dad makes you cringe, times it by ten, you've got Mike. <laughs> I can't dance, to be fair. Okay, so my silly is, again, I know the dance routine. And again, I get silly with it. And I've taught my children from the minute they're able to be able to walk, basically. And it's, again, family parties, family discos, school discos, all that kind of thing. And it is the cha-cha slide by DJ Casper. Thank you very much. (laughs) (laughs) Now I'm going to run down through my special mentions because there's so many bands that I love and I couldn't put them on there because I had to pick one song out of everything. Mm. So you had like Tenacious D, Mm -hmm. special mention, Alanis Morissette, Mm. um, Avril Lavigne from a childhood. No Doubt from my childhood, or Gwen Stefani. Christina Aguilera. Christina Aguilera's on mine because she, I used yeah. to gawp at her. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he fancied the pants off her. He, would, he told me that he'd literally be drooling watching her music videos. And then the one that I fancied even more was Shakira. Um, Hit her hips, don't lie. Yeah. <laughs> um, Fleetwood Mac, amazing band. Michael Jackson used to love him back in the day. Um, yeah, there's loads, but there they're the loads. ones I've written down. There is loads. I've got some special mentions, but again, thousands could even be in the special mentions. So I've got Lady Gaga, and I've got Lady Gaga because my oldest boy, Connor, I'm just going to tell you this story. He'll He'll hate me for putting this on the World Wide Internet for everybody to know. But when he was a very small child, he would refuse to let me give him a bath or a shower until I played Lady Gaga Poker Face. And as soon as I put Poker Face 
he was in that shower giving it beans singing along letting me wash his hair living his best life so lady gaga meant that i could bathe my child um <laughs> just going to lady gaga and obviously i would mention her but i i'm not keen on the like the older stuff but the new stuff that she like did for the movie a star is born i yeah. like that one and again that's like a sadder song but yeah yeah. I'm a very morbid person. I can be very morbid. Um, <laughs> Tina Turner, the late, great oh, yes. Tina Turner, and she's only recently just passed. Um, amazing woman. What a voice. Can she belt out a tune? Mm. And another one on my special mention list that, again, can belt out a tune but is sadly no longer with us is Whitney Houston. Mm. I mean, come on, guys. She has to have a special mention. They are just wow. Um, Cher, she hasn't passed. She's still around as far as I know. But, I mean, the age and how she still dresses and performs blows my mind. And every time I hear a name, there is one song that I want to belt out every time. And I can't because I'm monetized, so I'll have to do it when I click the camera. I'll have to add another one on there if you're going Madonna. I was a bit hit or miss with Madonna. I'm not actually a massive fan. I only like some of her older stuff. There's but... only like one or two for mm. me. Madonna's not up there for me. She doesn't get a special mention from me. Sorry, Madge, if you're watching. I doubt Madge. it. <laughs> um, okay, Venga Boys. Mm. Yeah. Just, just Venga Boys. <laughs> amazing um and actually not so long ago we were doing we the were whole on... let's pick a song on an episode. and i'm so whisper- i don't know i never know if she's plugged in a lot so that's why i whisper and also you guys i might set yours off you um, challenged me to get the cheesiest song out and i got we, the cheesiest we, song out we were battling to <laughs> find the cheesiest song and, and mike won with venga boys um no it wasn't the venga boys was oh it? it was peter andre Oh, yeah, Mysterious Girl. Oh, That was the cheesiest song of the 90s. It was the cheesiest song, but, man, wasn't <laughs> he a dish? Just saying. Coming out of that sea. Anyway, <laughs> meant to be PG and family-friendly. Let's let's dial it down. Um, Boyzone, another English-UK band. Um, never the same after, is it Stephen Gately died? And... But lots of boys' own classics in there. And then S Club 7. Ain't no party like an S Club 7. You know, if you know, you know. But some of these are very UK. And I don't know if some of these even cracked America. So I'm sorry if you're watching going, I don't know half of these they people she's did. saying. But anyway, look them up. If you want mm. pure cheesy pop, look up all my suggestions. I mean, you'll, you'll be golden. Um, and then there's two that goes together because they were separate bands and then they split up and then some from this band and some from this band joined together. So you've got Busted and you've got McFly and some of them buggered off. The ones that remained joined together and made McBusted. Genius. And I actually did. Genius. See, I did. Well, the name, com- combining <laughs> the name cause, because because. Bus, Original. bus fly isn't gonna bus cut it is it i mean just saying um but i actually saw busted and mcfly in real life at powderham castle the only real legitimate concert i've ever been uh, tell a lie i saw westlife at um argyle um argyle pavilions argyle we were in on the football ground we were on the pitch cool they were supposed to sell out we were supposed to be in the stadium seats mm. They didn't sell very many tickets and they were on the football pitch. So they invited the few of us that were in the stands to go down on the pitch and be like within touching distance. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Not like Muse then where they filled the whole thing the other day. But the thing is, it's Plymouth. And so what I mean by that is it's not the NEC. It's not one of the bigger places in London. No, I know that. And people aren't going to travel down. And it was really bad weather. It was lashing it down. We got soaked through. And I think a lot of people, even if they bought tickets, didn't turn up because they didn't want to get sopping wet, whether it was Westlife or not. Me and my mum went. Amazing. So I've seen Westlife in real life. And then I've seen, because 
I went to see Busted, but McFly weren't really big then. They were the supporting act of Busted. And then McFly overtook Busted, even though they were their little supporting acts that weren't actually that special at the time. And I was in Powderham Castle. Amazing night. So they've all got special mentions, but again, there could be thousands more. There's probably people that you're screaming, what about so-and-so? What about so-and-so? What? You're probably We've right. We've been doing it all night you, since you, we started yeah, writing it you, down. Oh, you are yeah. probably right. I mean, Natalie and Brulia. I'm not uh, Elton John, and yeah. you know, go back to, as far as my nan, because remember, my nan used to take me to school, pick me up from school, and give me my dinner. She was playing like Cliff Richard and yeah. some of the other old <laughs> stars. Sorry if you're watching Sir Cliff. Probably not, but um, so there's and like. Your nan, massive ABBA fan, you hate them because she literally rinsed them to death in your childhood and you can't bear to listen to them anymore. But they're a big group. I have to say something because I've just realised that I made a mistake on my list. What? Because Starman was not Bon Jovi. It wasn't Bon Jovi. That's why I looked at you like, what? I'm sorry. It was David Bowie. It was David Bowie. Bon Jovi. I liked him as well, though, to be fair. I did like Bon Jovi. But, but when you David said Starman, Bowie. I'm like, I don't remember no, Bon Jovi doing Starman. No, it was David Bowie. I didn't like David Bowie. I have not forever Bowie since I was a kid got them two mixed up. Don't know why. They are nothing alike. No, I know they're not, but I don't know why. It's just me. It's just me. <laughs> you strange. Anyway, so <clears throat> that is our list. And we've kept you for the best part of an hour. I told you it would be a long one. So we need to think of people to tag. We didn't do this bit as homework before we jumped on the camera. I would like to tag Lama Mama Kayla. You got anyone? Lady Jan. And Alaskan Crafter Jan is Mike's. Mm -hmm. I would like to tag Cinnamon Stitches. Oh. I would like to tag... I can't remember her YouTube name. Better not be a good friend of ours. You'll be done for. Damn it. Don't curse. Madonna does it all the time. Doesn't matter. <laughs> we're, we're not the Queen of Green like Madonna. Are you tagging Madonna? Or no. Or? I am tagging one of your friends. Yeah. So you're going to get in stuck if you don't really think of their name. Like now. Kim. Kim. Oh. Yarning for a smile. That's the one. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yarning for a smile, Kim. There you go. Mike wants to know your choices. It's because you're a gamer and he likes gaming choices, so he wants to see if your music taste is similar. I know his game. It won't be similar, but... I know his plan. You don't well, know. don't know. You so don't I know, know, I picked actually. so many... I picked weird ones on Okay, this. and I would like to tag... Oh, we get three, do we? Let's just keep going. Sabrina yeah. Melajuice. Oh. Well, I would like to tag Christina. Who Darrington is? Essay. There you go. And Ginetto, Bella and Ginetto, you have been tagged. Um, and please don't think, oh, you like them more than us, that's why you're tagging them. No. You're all tagged, done. There you go. <laughs> Blanket tag. Everyone that either knows us or doesn't know us but wants to do it. Tag Feel along. free. And guys who don't do content on their channel, we're not leaving you out. You want to give us 20 of your songs in the categories that we have listed? Feel free to do so down in the comments. Yes, write them down because R I would like to listen yeah, to them. Yeah, he wants to check them out because you guys might suggest people that we don't know because Mike is very eclectic in his taste. He likes music from right across the board, even jazz and opera sometimes and all sorts. So don't be afraid to put your your um choices down in the comments even like country like american country whatever whatever you're into let us know it's interesting but i cannot stress this enough this is not all inclusive this is not our top 20 ever this is just 20 that we could fit in that category really quickly before clicking the camera and that we could think of now yeah but you ask us in a week, it will change. You ask us in 10 years from now, it will have changed. So, 
it, it, I, there for are, this moment. There are a few on here that will never change for me, but... Only a couple for me, and it's probably the family classics, not going to lie. Mm-hmm. Um, and one more from the mood song. Yes, my sad song and my happy song. Um, but yes, if you want to listen to the songs that Mike and I have put out there for you all... You're going to have to go back to the beginning and write them down because there is no way I can tag all these music videos in the description box. And also some of Mike's choices you won't be able to find. find, So sorry about that. But it would just take too long. I will cross out the ones you won't be able to find um, and some that you probably wouldn't want to listen to. Um, well, but I am well, going to leave well, most already, of them on there. Yeah, but we've already been on for nearly an hour, so... Yeah, I'm, you, I'm just, it's just for you to write down on the description. I'm not writing them down on the description. I'm saying they're going to have to go back and write it down themselves if they want to find what these songs are. I will cross out the ones you cannot find. Two seconds. I think it's just that one. You've just crossed out two. Yeah, but nobody wants to listen to that. The, the Duck, the Police... And the Tom Costello, because he was oh local. yeah, he was a local person that you'll never find. The rest of them you will find on YouTube. There you go. And if you search well enough. You're not going to be able to read it or take a screenshot, but I will hold that there for just a second while I finish my tea. But, like I said, you might have to watch it again, and that's going to be another hour of your life. So you probably won't, and that's okay. And most of you have probably clicked off by now, and that's okay as well. But thank you once again to Tracy over at Crochet Rocks, whether it was on Crochet Rocks or Rock Steady. <coughs> Excuse me. I will put her channel links, both of them, in the... De- <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, Tracy. I will put both of her channels down in the description box. If you are unfamiliar, please go and check her out. The people that we named as tags, we will pop their channel links in the description. Go check them out. Spread the yarny love, guys. Chuck some yarn in their window. Don't chuck windows at windows. Um, And, you know, when you're doing your project, don't forget your potions now. Um, (laughs) um, But, yeah, check out our friends. And guys that we have tagged... No pressure to do it. If you haven't got time, if you're too busy, if it's not something of interest, you are earthquaking the camera, Michael. Sorry. Um, I have to do some of the little changes. David Bowie, not not Bon Jovi. Yeah. Um, (laughs) Don't feel pressured. If you don't have time, if this doesn't interest you, if you don't think you want this on your channel, not a problem. You only do it if you wish to. Those that we didn't tag by name, don't take offence. We just plucked names out of the air randomly. Um... But you've all been blanketed, tagged anyway. So you want to do it. We want to see it. And if you haven't got a channel, put your list down in the comments because we would really like Mm. to check them out and maybe get some new music to listen to, to put on our Alexa playlist. And if there is any of mine or Manfred's that you cannot find, do ask. Yeah, and if I can find a link for you, I will. Not a problem. Okay, so if you can't find it, I'll see if I can and help you out. So... Thank you for an hour of your time on this Saturday. And I am going to ask for another two hours of your time later this evening for our live. (laughs) How cheeky are we today? Um, But it is the favourite part of YouTube we do every week. And we really enjoy your company. So if you are free and if you want to come, please do. Everyone is welcome. And apart from trolls, I am 99% sure that we have a special guest on our live tonight. So, you want to know who that is? Come on over. Come on over and party. So, until we see you at the live later... Stay safe. Be kind. Look after one another. Get some good quality time in. We love ones. Get that listening to music. Get some good quality crafting time in. We will see you in the next one. Oh, I need two sheets. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye. And you are rock stars if you watch this to the end. Thank you so much. Love you loads.